Hi, everyone. Welcome to another episode of Coffee in the Cloud. I'm Kara Wanagatima with Microsoft Teams Engineering. Today, we're going to talk about what it takes to rapidly deploy Microsoft Teams, especially to support people in a remote work scenario. We know lots of people are working from home right now, and some of them may never have done it before. I'm going to walk you through some quick resources to help you get ready to help them. Now, in the context of this, I'm going to go through several of the capabilities that we have and the order that we think you should do them in uh, and make sure that you're getting the most out of uh, the scale enablement tools and the things that we've done so that you don't have to start from scratch. So let's hop in. Before you can do anything as a champion uh, or as an IT pro, uh, helping other people use services, you have to take care of yourself. Now more than ever, it's important that you rest fuel and move. For those of you who are getting used to working from home, it's important to make sure that you're not sitting at your desk all day long uh, without moving your body. Oftentimes what I will do is if I'm not the primary presenter in a meeting, I will take it on my mobile device so that I can walk around my house while I'm listening uh, and then occasionally chiming in and participating in the meeting. So do what's best for you, uh, but make sure that you are setting yourself up for success uh, as you're trying to help others get used to this remote work scenario. Now, any adoption program has a certain goal. In this case, in particular, we're trying to help people rapidly get up to speed for remote work, but it's worth mentioning that overall adoption is really about improving business processes. Uh, remote work is just a piece of that, and we want to make sure that people are getting a measurable return from their investment in Microsoft services. So uh, we always want to keep that in mind when we're driving adoption, because what we're doing now is just the beginning of what we will continue to do as we're helping people uh, along the way to to collaboration in the cloud in a secure and compliant way. So you're going to have to do three very specific things. You're going to have to make sure that people are aware of Microsoft Teams and Office 365 and that you're actually driving usage. You're going to have to make sure employees are getting to productivity as quickly as possible with the right kinds of tools and training. And you're going to have to ultimately be improving employee skill. Right? That means making sure that people are getting the most value out of the things that you're offering and that they understand how to seamlessly work no matter where they may be. Now, the first thing you're going to do is make sure that you yourself are, are empowered. Uh, there are 20,000 people and growing in our Office 365 Champions uh, community and in the Driving Adoption Forum. So you want to join us there so that you can get the benefit of all the other work that people are doing to quickly enable Office 365 services and Microsoft Teams in particular. So hit up aka.ms O365 Champions and join us. There's a monthly call all the time on various topics. This next one is going to be about remote work and we always upload our presentations and recordings of the previous month's content so it's available for everyone. But the most important thing about that is the community. Now, after you've joined the community, to be empowered, you're going to want to use our materials. And once you've reviewed all these materials that I have for you, I think you're going to be happy because we have some things that are really going to streamline everybody understanding how to work from home. And then lastly, after time, you're going to want to validate your skills. It's important to become certified as a Microsoft Service Adoption Specialist. You can put this on your uh, you know, LinkedIn profile or your CV, and it really validates that you understand how to do the work, right? The heavy lifting of driving service adoption alongside uh, an organizational development degree or think something of that nature. But right now, let's get back to the tactics of the things that we have available for you. So you're going to review our materials. And the first place that you're going to go to is aka.ms Microsoft Adoption. Microsoft Adoption is the hub for all of the adoption materials we're bringing together across all of the services. Now, obviously, you're going to use the Teams uh, content that is there. However, there's fantastic content for OneDrive and SharePoint and other services that you're going to want to make sure that you're, you are aware of. So make sure to bookmark that location because we're going to be adding new features and services to that over the course of time to make it really easy for you to get the most from Office 365. 
For now, though, the first thing you're going to take a look at is the Teams Toolkit. Now, this is more for those of you who are brand new to Microsoft Teams. Some of the folks who've been with us along this journey for a while have already seen this document. We're continuing to update it, and we will be releasing a version that has a couple of pages specifically about remote work. Uh, but it tells the story of all of the calling and meeting and platform capabilities of Microsoft Teams in a very visual way. So if you're an IT pro or a champion who's looking to also explain to one of your execs why you're using Microsoft Teams, this is the asset for you. Now on to the remote work scenario. You're going to love this. It's really cool. So go to ak.ms Teams for remote work. And you will find a page specifically designed to help both IT pros enable the service and champions like us help end users use the service. So you're going to want to go to that page because we're also continuing to release new information. So we've prioritized this page uh, so that we can help people. And on there, that page, you'll be able to download the customer success kit. This success kit is wonderful. Uh, it's been recently updated and it has things like email templates that you can use to let people know Microsoft Teams is coming. There are posters that you can print. Uh, and my favorite is the day in the life for remote work. That is a wonderful leave behind. It's created as a PDF so that you can share it with people no matter where they are and they can understand what are the capabilities that they should be understanding from Microsoft Teams. So uh, many of the documents, before you even ask, are able to be edited. So if you want to make changes uh, to put in appropriate language or your own reference URLs or communities, you can do that. We've included those documents uh, inside the downloadable success kit. So all you have to remember to really get to value with the remote work scenario is go visit aka.ms Teams for Remote Work. Our services are ready, willing, and able to help your organization and every employee in it get the most from working uh, from home. Now, once you've done that and you're starting to get people working uh, from a remote perspective, they may need some additional training materials. So there's a couple of options that you have. You can always use support.office.com. It has excellent snippets and tips and tricks about every feature in Microsoft Teams. There's a special playlist that's about remote work and you can get to our live online classes from there. So I really suggest that support.office.com, the main page for Microsoft Teams, be pinned somewhere more in the communities that you have uh, for supporting your workers. Now, as long as people know that they can get there, that's great. Um, you can also share with them a coffee in the cloud or our on-demand and instructor-led courses that we have on Success with Teams. So you can get to those from that support.office.com and that is really helpful because sometimes people may be needing to really think about Teams in a different way. Uh, and maybe they have the time to go through a 30 minute or an hour class to help them get comfortable with working remotely and in Microsoft Teams. You have to remember that working from home isn't just about the technology. It's also about their physical space. Maybe they never intended to work from home because they have young children. Maybe they don't work from home because their Wi-Fi is spotty. There's a lot of things that are make for a good home office situation. So uh, understand that maybe streaming a class like this will be helpful to get people grounded, uh, as well as looking at some of the shorter tips and tricks that are on support.office.com or the remote worker hand out that I mentioned before. All of these things are great. If you have somebody that really wants to learn more, you can share with them our Conversational Geek Microsoft Teams book. This is a downloadable asset that can be got gotten from the link shown here. You can, of course, order uh, physical copies of it if people would like to do that. But uh, I think that the digital copy right now is very useful. It uses project management as an example for how to work in Teams. Now, once you get people up and running on remote work, you may want to go the next step further to really help them with what they're doing in Office 365 All Up. And for that, we have something else for you. It's called N365 Learning Pathways. Learning Pathways is a template for a training site that can be installed directly in your Office 365 tenant. Uh, 
What does that mean? It means that you can customize it. And customization is very important when it comes to training materials. We heard you loud and clear. So if there are workloads that you're not using, for instance, OneDrive or Yammer or something else like Stream, you can turn the content off for those particular items. Uh, you can also build custom playlists. So maybe you want to help people understand how they should order a new computer or file a support ticket. You can build your own custom playlist inside of Learning Pathways that you can pin and share with others. So we love this. I am very happy to be able to stream this support.office.com content to people all around the world in a format that they can customize so that it works for their own company. Another piece I'm really excited about is this app that we've created. So we built an app that will allow you to pin learning pathways inside of Microsoft Teams. This is an app that can then be put right on the left-hand navigation. You can change its name or change its icon. I, of course, in the default, I have the Microsoft icon in it, and it's called Getting Started. Uh, there's a wonderful blog post by Bob German about this, which you can also find in the comments about the installation and configuration of it. But it's very, very flexible by design. You can put other parts of your intranet in it. You can add specific pages uh, and, again, pin those priority playlists that you may want. We're updating Learning Pathways with a remote work playlist also, so you'll be able to show that to your users. You can have more than one version of the application and show it to different types of people inside of your organization. So we're really excited. I should tell you that this app is currently in beta, but it will be generally available uh, in this quarter uh, of this calendar year. Once you've done all of that, why uh, you're going to want to make sure, um, again, as I said, that you validate those skills that you have. So take a moment for yourself and think about in the future, making sure to take our service adoption specialist course. Uh, the other thing about this is that the service adoption specialist course, it uses the same content and more uh, for deploying a Microsoft Teams. So Microsoft Teams is the example project inside of the course. There's other information about measuring success, about governance uh, and compliance that you may need to know as you're trying to rapidly deploy and enable Microsoft teams. So that content is free and available online. If you want to earn your certificate, then that there is a fee for that via edX, uh, but all of the material and the training is, is available there. So uh, I encourage you to go and check that out uh, as you go through this process. So you've rested you've fueled yourself, you've made sure that you're moving around in your environment and set yourself up for success for working from home. You've used our core assets, teams for remote work, to make sure that everyone is getting to value. And then you've taken it that step forward and made sure to install learning pathways uh, in your environment. Now what you want to do is join us in that community. Any questions you have along the way, bring them to the Driving Adoption community. And other people like myself will help you figure out the right answer for you. Uh, some of you I know out there are the only person in your organization doing this sort of work. Uh, and that can feel a little bit isolating sometimes, but you are not alone. I want to make sure that you know that we here at Microsoft are not only ready for all of you to work from home uh, on our services, but we're here to support you in making sure that you have a great experience as you do it. And as always, I am here to help all of my adoption specialists know what it means uh, to really help people get value. I don't do this work because I'm in love with technology, even though I am, but I'm more in love with helping people. And I know that all of you out there are the same. So uh, make sure you take care of yourself. Join us here in the Driving Adoption community. Ask your questions and stay tuned because more information and resources will be coming for you uh, shortly to help you with this uh, remote work scenario and other things you may be dealing with at this time. Thanks again for listening to another episode of Coffee in the Cloud. I'm Caruana, and I'll see you soon.